Who would have thought that if you hitchhike in Spain before dawn that the first car would stop for me? I made it a little further and I could listen to some hitchhiking stories from the younger days of the driver. Ahora yo encuentro Chema. Buenas. <laughs> Muchas, mucha gracias Nada. por el viaje y mucha suerte en tu día. <laughs> Muchas gracias. Buen, buen viaje. Gracias. Que tenga suerte. Wow, that was crazy. I didn't expect that the first car would pick me up in the half dark. It was still very dark. And I was almost thinking, ah, should I wait to hitchhike because I felt not that comfortable to hitchhike. But then I said, like, okay, put out my thumb. And the first car stopped like what <laughs> and in spain i mean in spain i always expect that i wait longer but now i already made some kilometers for today it's still not really bright outside it's still a little bit like the morning yeah so yeah now <laughs> i hopefully reach galicia today because i really want to visit galicia never been there and it's supposed to be really beautiful so yeah <sighs> happy and grateful Right now there's this crazy double rainbow behind me and the mountains over there are lit up by the sun and then there's rain clouds and the rainbow is so strong. I don't know if it's visible in the video, but it's crazy. So beautiful. Ahora yo encuentro Igor y Santiago. Santiago. Y uh, chicos, yo siempre preguntar una pregunta de gente de mi viaje. Es cómo sería la munda de tus sueños, una munda mejor. Eh, en mi caso sin fronteras y sin países, la verdad. Que seamos todos iguales. Y que no haya tanta discriminación hacia otro tipo de personas. Mm -hmm. Así que nada, mucho gusto haberte conocido. Nice to meet you, friend. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you so much for the trip and enjoy the waves. They're going okay, to surfing. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ahora yo encuentro un chico de Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, eso, eso. <laughs> muy interesante. <laughs> sí, muy Hablamos bien. con, con tú. Eso. Y, uh, mucha suerte en tu día. Igualmente. Y, y disfruta la fin de semana. Igualmente. <laughs> chao, chao. Now it's raining like crazy here. It doesn't stop and it's not, not supposed to stop anymore. But luckily, I found this place to hitchhike under the bridge. Very nice. I'm dry and it's raining everywhere. But the next day, it's supposed to rain all day long every day, so I hope it doesn't do that. Hitchhiking was pretty tough. It was raining and raining and raining and just didn't stop. And I was getting soaked and I had to walk a lot at times to get to another hitchhiking spot. And the progress was really slow until I met one really kind and kind of crazy family which were also kind of on a weekend trip and they just asked me are we going to this restaurant eat something you want to come and I said yes and then suddenly we went to this beautiful harbor which I didn't know about with a small fishing village there full of good seafood restaurants <laughs> Ahora yo encuentro una familia y nosotros ir a Galicia tarde, pero primero uh, nosotros ir a este pueblo de pescadores. Muy, muy uh, bonito lugar. Y ir por un pescado y cerveza. Buen provecho. Good fish, good company, and they insisted of inviting me to that fish and it was just another day of Spanish hospitality and all of that in the pandemic I was blown away. They drove me further into Galicia, a region close to Portugal and Spain. So now this very nice Spanish family showed me this amazing coast and beach here where the violent waves of the Biscaya are hitting. 
so beautiful, but today it's so rainy. It's crazy, but it's also beautiful. Muchas, muchas gracias. Finally, sunshine after such a long time of rain. And this family was so kind. They live here in this area and they wanted to give me a shower in their house and invited me for coffee to their house, but I want to make some more distance today and I don't need a shower right now. So um, I said I'm gonna continue to hitchhike and then they drove me even further now to the good a good hitchhiking spot and so much hospitality, it's incredible. Okay, the rain is right now so strong and continuous that I'm hiding out under this highway bridge and I'm dry here but I just hope it stops soon because yeah I want to hitchhike a little bit further today I got pretty stuck in some kind of far off rural region of Galicia in the mountains somewhere and there was a highway and an entrance to the highway but there was just no one there driving on that highway and I waited and I waited 10 minutes, 20 minutes and no car was entering the highway and I was getting so stuck and frustrated. Yesterday it just didn't stop raining and there was no cars going up there and I just escaped in my tent to sleep because it was getting dark too. And now this morning I must have been really tired from the journey because I woke up at 11.30. I didn't put an alarm and normally I wake up early in the morning when it gets bright and when the sun shines on my tent and when it's getting warmer. But now it was clouds for a long time and now the sun came out so crazy <laughs> so now I have a late start today but still amazing to sleep here and I'm sleeping right next to the highway but it's not so loud so I can go straight away to hitchhike I'm completely out of water and I'm so thirsty so now I'm walking to this nearby village to hopefully find some store or something or a spring but it's Sunday which also means less cars <sighs> no one working you know just people driving somewhere for fun it's always on Sunday you hitchhike less successful In Spain it seems like you find so many lost and abandoned villages like with almost no one living there anymore. In the middle of nowhere a lot of abandoned houses and just not a single soul on the streets. It's crazy. It started raining again. The store was closed but I found pizza and I could fill up my water bottle in the restaurant. After all that waiting, I seem to be lucky again. First I had that great pizza and after the pizza I was just walking on the street from the restaurant, maybe 50 meters. I hitchhiked one car stop with a very nice Spanish family and there was like an old grandpa and he told me about he, how he was working on cargo ships like 50 years ago and it was so interesting. And now they brought me a little bit further and I'm at a highway uh, space again and it seems to be a little bit more cars here so I'm happy. So I got a little bit further but uh oh, behind me looks very dark, like there's a huge storm or something approaching. Right now it's raining so much here, it's crazy and it's so much that I'm hiding under this highway bridge here <laughs> and over there is a shower like look how much water is coming down I could literally take a shower here 
thank you so much for your precious time and enjoying this adventure with me. If you can't wait to see how this journey will continue, you can get instant early access to the next episode on my Patreon page. This project is only possible through your support on Patreon. So thank you from the bottom of my heart.